asking at this time what time. We didn't put it all together, but you just have to show up at the golf course to find out. Or I'll have to turn your radio on at 7 o'clock in the morning on Monday to find out who's going to be talking when and why. There you there go. You know. There you go. <laughs> yes. And, uh, Christina, do you want to give out the lovely information right now real quick before we go on? Oh, okay. Well, apparently we just got a little memo for people having problems watching us on KCAA TV. Link on KCAAradio.com. KCAAradio.com. Click on the use. Is that a U or a V? I think I believe it's Ustream. Ustream. Yeah, it's Ustream. Okay, thanks, sir. Because if you go if you go to the web page and you go to where you used to click on the gold KCA TV, uh-huh. right underneath it there's a blue like bar. Yeah. And it will say uh, it says home, and then right underneath it it will say Ustream and chat, and then you click on there. Okay. Ah, thanks. Okay, well, that, that probably explains it a lot better than I could. So if you're having problems, you can do that. If you're still having problems, um, give us a call, and Eric can help you through it. I know he's yes. done that before. There's people well, listening to us in uh, Ari- watching us, actually, in Arizona and Canada, Alaska, all, all over the place. So uh, don't give up, and uh, give us a call, and we'll show you how to do it. I just want to mention that I was really happy that Loma Linda University, they, they always help out, and they're a great organiz- a great what you said, health system. So I'm happy to hear that they stepped up to the plate and sponsored you guys. That's great. And I have a lot of friends over there, and I'm proud of all of them. The question is, I always wanted to ask this. <laughs> now, since Christina is in the middle of us, Phil, Uh-oh. right, she can't escape too far. Is there someone that you do not know. He just thought about you when you were busy. <laughs> um, there's a lot a of people I don't know. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of people I, I can't wait to meet in, uh-huh. in my life tomorrow, five minutes from now, and I'm always looking uh, and, and every, I try to make everybody a friend because that's what life is all about, a journey of just collections of wonderful memories and people. So I hope so. I, I think I still have a lot more You'll get uh, pages it. to write in this chapter. So uh, Yeah. With new characters. All the time, new character. We, we, that's why we got Phil. He's our new character. I have a character, yes. Yes, he is. And, Phil, getting back to the golf tournament now, over at the country club, they have the Olympic swimming pool over there. they got tennis courts over there. they got the, the shooting. Um, Driving range. Thank you. I, I lost it there. For wait, wait, wait. Don't yeah, say that word. That, Calm yeah, down. They, they have that. And they have the dining rooms over there. They have lunches, breakfast. I mean, it, everything you can think of, these people have. That's right. And uh, we've been at other golf courses. Uh, we've been doing this for 24 years. We've been at a number of golf courses in the Valley. Not to speak ill of those places because they – I would be happy on any golf course anywhere. <laughs> but these folks at Arrowhead Country Club bend over backwards to make us feel welcome and they accommodate us on almost everything we ask them for, far and above the other courses. And again, that's not speaking ill of them, it's just saying that they just take it a step higher. And that is so true, and I had the sheer pleasure of talking to Sean and also Rose. Charming, charming people on the phone. I cannot wait to meet them when I get over there on Monday. And we had a really good talk, and I even like it on the pro shop. They call, you know, they have uh, all the balls, the tees, all the clubs, everything that you can think of. And who are you waving to? I'm, I'm waving. Penny got here. We're oh, waving her in. Hey, we Penny's got a, here. We got Yay. a celebrity in the house. Yes. And so she's so, going to get her gear on, and we're going to get, get her gear on. Yeah, she's got yeah. a lot of fun things to talk about. So, anyways, now, Phil, uh, before we take a small break, is there anything more that you would like to add about the golf tournament? Well, it's just that we're going to have this golf tournament every year. We're full this year of uh, of our our golfers. We can't take on more, but just to let your golfers know, or the people that are golfers, that we will be having this every year in June, and so uh, maybe we'll have, be have, able to have a fuller field next year and, and think about us. Yes, and then, again, that uh, golf tournament, 
tournament is on Monday, June 18th at the lovely hour of 7 o'clock in the morning. And that's when between 7 a.m. and 8.45 you can go down and register. And then they're having the putting contest from 7 a.m. to 8.45. And the shotgun starts at 9 a.m. That's where you got that gun yeah. thing from, now, the shooting thing. I want to know. I, I, really, I don't know that much about golf. I'll be the first one to admit, right? I think some of their outfits are kind of okay. Goofy. Yeah. yeah, goofy looking. But when they say shotgun, who started that and why? Well, How did they come up with first that? First of all, is this best ball? Yes. Okay, then anybody can play. Even you can play that. It's just fun, right? It's called a scramble format, which means that each that everyone, they tee off. And they take the best shot, and they all hit from there, and then hit again from the best shot. The shotgun came from is every buddy goes out of the course at once, they're assigned a hole to start at. One might start at hole number five, another at hole number ten. Where shotgun came from is they used to start that, but some guy would just take a shotgun out there from the clubhouse and go boom, and that meant it was time for everybody to start. I didn't know that. Now okay. that's a, now can I yeah. do that on Monday? She wants to do it. I would not give Bev a shotgun. I no. don't think I'd put a gun in your hand. Then. No, oh, I'm quite yeah, good with them. Yeah, I really am. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, yes. Things could happen that we don't want to be. We, we, we don't want to. <laughs> yeah. But that's how that got, how that got started. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Nice, Eric. All right. Well, thank you, well, Phil. I just, and, I'll just say that anybody can do it. I, I'm not a golfer. I want to learn to golf, but I've done the golf tournaments many times, and they're a kick, a lot of fun, great. And, like, I'm a native here to the area, so I'm happy to hear all the things said about Arrowhead Country Club because it's all true. And I believe that if you go out and you like it and you like what you see and you you can uh, join, there's there's open – the memberships right. are open. That's correct. Uh, so and they have a lot of good yeah. stuff over there. And the food, they have good food over there. Yeah, they have some good stuff. They chefs. really do. Um, but it's a beautiful atmosphere, and uh, I've never had a bad time there. There you go. <laughs> All right, now, uh, Phil, don't go nowhere. You're, you don't have to leave. You're still here with us. We're going to take one small uh, quick break, and Penny dun, 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 finally made it, and she will be back with us in about one second. And if you just tuned in, you're listening to Let's Go Shopping with Bev and Christina. Our liaison is here. Phil from the Chamber, Loma Linda Chamber. Penny from the Highland Senior Citizen is here. And we're waiting for one phone call from uh, Sherry. And it's about 4.30. I don't see any light splashing. Is she there? Not yet? Please keep on trying. Thank you, darling. And uh, we are KCAA 1050 AM, the station that leaves no listener behind. And uh, I hope that you're listening and you're enjoying it. And if you get onto the YouTube and you have difficulties, don't go to the yellow one. Go to the blue button that says uh, Ustream and click on that, and you should be able to see us. If not, you may call <laughs> Eric at 909-888. No, let's give him the other number. 888-909-1050. That's 888-909-1050. I was going to give him the other number. And call us anyway. And call us, yeah. Some good shopping tips or something. Call us. And, Beaver, we're glad that you're with us. Yes. They can hear us, but they can see us. Penny. Yes. You are right, my darling. Penny is actually extremely famous. She is the author of Forty Shades of Grey. And (laughs) (laughs) And we are actually going to go into discussion now. No, I am kidding. We have this little thing going on right now talking about it. And she is not the author, so don't flood us with calls asking about questions that we can't talk about on the air. Unless we have wine or something. Why why can't we talk about it on the air? Well, people that don't know, Forty Shades of Grey is a book and it's, Got all kinds it's of interesting content. No, it's just random. And I thought I'd just throw her off guard. And I know she had a little stressful day, and she looks all happy now. But um, Penny actually wears many hats. And Penny is the director of the Senior Center in Highland. Penny is the mayor pro tem for Highland and has been involved in Highland for many, many years. With her, her family's been involved, and she's... Wears a lot of hats. She's involved in a lot of the. We were just talking about how important it is to be involved in the chambers, and oh, sure. in whatever city you're in, and how important it is whether you're a business member or 
um, just an individual. And Penny's going to tell us what her ch- – this is for the chamber, right, your event coming up? Actually, it's a co – uh, co-event. It's the benefit, the proceeds benefit the Highland Senior Center as well as the Highland Chamber of Commerce. But I think nowadays with, you know, funds being so tight and everyone trying to get more bang for their buck, we have collaborated. And it's a, and it's a great combination because you get the mixture of the seniors, you get the individuals, you get the businesses, and they all come together on one night and have a great time. And so, and then we raise a lot of funds because everyone wants to give to an organization that's benefiting multiple agencies. So, yeah. And so fun. that's another thing, um, Phil, we, were, we didn't really, well, we kind of talked about it in a roundabout way, but partnerships. So you can mm-hmm. do things like this mm-hmm. and partner with some of the um, um, uh, businesses in the community or some of the nonprofits in the community and do something wonderful like this. So now you've got all kinds of people celebrating to d- together and making some funds for what's important to them. Now, there was uh, some special music that I had for you, Penny. Really? Yes, and we had some special music for Phil, which we already played. Do we dance on the table? Uh, if you Penny want to, I won't guarantee the table's going to, you know. But <laughs> Now, what's the name of your event? It is the Casino Night and Taste of the Town. There you go. And you have to dress up in the costume as a cowboy or a, car, a car girl, right? Well, actually, it, it helps because we're having the event at a ranch at, in the city of Highland. It's a, a horse ranch, and um, our theme is Western wear. And so if you show up with boots and Western wear, you get additional play money to play your games with. Okay, hang on one second. Eric, can you turn that up just a tee whip, please? Kind of get everybody in the mood and ready. Yeehaw! Okay, yeah, it's a good part. Battle up, kids. My bottle, and he drank down my last swallow. Then he bombed a cigarette and asked me for I love this part. This is my favorite part. <laughs> you got to wait for a better favorite part. <laughs> and his face lost all expression. Here it comes. If you're going to play the game, boy. You got to learn to play the right. This works you got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. While you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough to count. Are we doing karaoke that day? When the real is done. Thank you, Eric. I'm thinking that we should interview Beth. <laughs> I thought that was just perfect because of the casino night, the gambling, and with Phil we did the Beach Boys fun, 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 oh, everybody yeah, out there yeah. with a the golf and, and all of that. So I, I had to get that in I there. I love it. So Thank what, you. What, you're welcome. What, what date is it again? It's Thursday, June 28th. It's this month. It's right around the corner, and I think we're about three-quarters of the way sold out, if you can Ooh. believe that. Uh, we just started advertising a month ago, and... And uh, the hard part was finding a site in Highland because we wanted to keep it in Highland. And to accommodate 300 people, it's really tough. And so we we found a site. So we're we're on our way. It's going to be a blast. We hope you join us. Oh, I'll be there. So are you going to have so. a, yeah. and so you're hoping people dress the part right and mm-hmm. wear your cowboy hats, bring your boots out if you have them, maybe a little uh, blingy cowboy, cowgirl shirts or something. We always love that blingy. I have. I think we need the blingy. Right? Yes, yes. I might have to go because I have a shirt that I got it, and we're going to be talking about Uptown Girls later, and I got it at uh, Debbie's, I think, but it says, this isn't my first rodeo. Wouldn't oh, that I be like good? Yeah. Yeah. that from Debbie's. Yes, you said, that's where that <laughs> shirt came from. Yeah. That's cute. Well, yeah. that that? little cowboy <laughs> boots. <laughs> I don't know if it yeah. still fits me. <laughs> Wear it anyways. Put a T-shirt underneath that. Just right. leave it open and have the bling bling. Now, the thing is, now this is very important. Now, I know that we're going to be dressing in costume or Western wear, whatever you want to call it. Now, Phil, when you come, what kind of bling are you going to be wearing? Oh, geez. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. Yes, I'm you not must. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's... Wow. I love putting him Penny, on the um, spot. I know. I golf. <laughs> and I'm golfing Monday, and I'm thinking, I don't think I have any blingy golf wear. Yeah. Oh, you know the best way to do that? Now, real quick, Monday night, went down in Redlands when they had the Uptown Girls. Fifth Monday. Oh, there is one place that you ladies and 